Thus, uh, you spoke to the farmers today and uh, they report the sentiment of all the farmers in the country that is face for classified and fuel shortage as well. And recently in New Delhi, when you were speaking to uh, Foreign Minister Jay Shankar at a program in New Delhi in July, you yeah, said that yeah, you were really yeah. concerned about the crisis on going in Sri Lanka, especially agriculture. Do you still maintain that position or have you seen any, any improvement or has it deteriorated for that? Um, one of the uh, most important topics of conversation during my trip to India was the crisis in Sri Lanka. And we have been very appreciative, as I know so many Sri Lankans have been, of uh, India stepping forward and providing financial assistance and loans and lines of credit, uh, particularly at the height of the crisis. Uh, that was extremely uh, important. And we joined with India and all of uh, friends of Sri Lanka and friends of the Sri Lankan people in, you know, uh, supporting Sri Lanka as it seeks uh, to obtain the IMF uh, program that it has, uh, you know, reached preliminary agreement on but that needs to be seen through. Um, and so certainly I think um, the progress that has been made in the engagements with the IMF are significant. That's not something that had reached that stage when I was uh, in India. Uh, I think there are still very large questions about debt distress in this country uh, and how uh, the government can and, and Sri Lankans can get access to the kind of credit that they need uh, to keep the economy uh, fueled. I will be meeting later this evening with Sri Lankan private sector actors, business leaders as well, to hear about what more um, the United States can do, but also, uh, you know, how uh, the private sector feels the crisis is being managed or needs to be to be managed. What adjustments need to be made, what reforms need to happen, and how they should be prioritized. So, I think that clearly, you know, it is. Um, a more stable circumstance right now in the sense that there's a system for rationing fuel. Um, it is more stable in the sense that there's now a new government um, trying to implement a set of reforms, but uh, it, it is extremely difficult for the people of this country. And I, I you, you would know better than me whether people feel as if their quality of life uh, has improved. I've only just uh, arrived in the country, um, but I think it will take some time uh, and you know some more difficult months and more support from Sri Lanka's friends uh, in order to again help the people uh, get through this this um, uh, the, the kind of crisis that I think uh, this country really never imagined that it would have to go through. I mean, you never imagined defaulting uh, on debt and never imagining. I mean, these wonderful farmers saying, we know how to feed people. You know, we, we, if we have the fertilizer, if we have the seeds, if we can keep the pests away, count on us, we can feed this country. And, and so I think that is what is so heartbreaking, is there are a set of uh, dynamics beyond the control of ordinary people that have left ordinary people and, and vulnerable people, um, you know, uh, facing uh, challenges the likes of which they, they have not encountered before. And again, that is why we are here, knowing that this uh, is such a difficult time uh, for the Sri Lankan people to show that America stands with you, that we will continue to look to see what more we can do uh, to support you, given that even though there is more calm in the country than there was a couple months ago, uh, the day-to-day -day challenges that families are facing remain acute.